Heavy on the top, light on the bottom. <laughs> I don't know, that wasn't intended to mean anything. It's just, they're just so cool. You'll see what I'm talking about on some of the songs. It's just, you get more of a, like that. It really has to have You can tear into it really hard. Anybody have any idea of any songs I've ever done? Anybody? If I was a beer. Oh, nice oh. Boom. Yeah. Oh, he can oh, he <laughs> Now oh, you'll all get your phones out and start Googling <laughs> stuff, won't you? Okay. Drink about that. I didn't do <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, we're gonna have to work hard. That, that, that was that was you know what? No, that was really smart. Oh right. <laughs> yes, I, I applaud. Cool, yes, I applaud, you know, using your resources wisely. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. right. You should see what happens when people sit in the front row. <laughs> There's no reason. <laughs> there we go there. Uh. So, think, sorry about that. I'm just sitting at this bar stool drinking As reality starts to sink in You're so pretty, you're out of my league You'd never see yourself with a guy like me If I was a bear, I bet you'd hold me Brush your lips against me, tell me your story If I was a bear, but you'd pour your heart out to me I was a bear. <laughs> now I see you dancing with him, and I can't help but thank him that you and I could be so good together. Maybe I could be something you'd like better if I was a bear. 
a beer. I bet you come in here, have a seat a little bit, son. Watch my show, if I was a beer. I just walk right down that hall. <laughs> He's freestyling. You come on in here. <laughs> now it's <a> no more. <laughs> I bet your friends would even like me. That they'd even invite me to every single party. You throw one for me. Raise their glasses and cheer, cheer, cheer. I'm tempted to do that second verse you didn't get to hear. Yeah. You're like dying to know, aren't you? I bet you'd hold me, press your lips against me, tell me your story, if I was a bear, bet you'd pour your heart out to me. If I was a bear, if I was a bear, if I was a bear, Coming or not, man? Is he no in? real stuff. Is he no, still missing out. Is he standing there? No, no, he went all the way back. <laughs> no, I, like, oh, I chased him off. <laughs> Bam! Could you imagine that? Falling him out. That's <laughs> good. Yeah, make, you know, it's, it's just us. Let's just make up songs as we go. Yeah. <laughs> Which is, by the way, how I got into all this. I I didn't you know get any formal you know teaching or anything, and I was explaining to me everything almost sounded like an Elvis song. You know, but I mean, if we do, uh, oh. that idea of it. you know where this is going, right? Take us there. Yeah. Hear yeah, the train coming, it's a rolling around the bend. I haven't seen the sunshine since I don't know when. Well, I'm stuck in those prison. The time keeps dragging on. That train keeps rolling down the sound and home. And I did not write that. Oh. Okay. In case you were trying to figure out. So then, but the funny thing, well, I do too, uh, as far as like musical influences. So then, trying to learn guitar, you know, my wife would always be like, why does everything sound like blues to you? Because that's what they teach you in the beginning. You know, it's just like the simple, you know, hard. Which, by the way, Sorry, this was not intended yeah, to be like, I love it. No, this is the highlight. <laughs> but, the yeah, so, um, you know, what is it? Uh, you know, that's going, well, I'm walking to the room, and I'm now at hundred dollar bills, and it kills and it thrills like the horns on my silver bottle grill. And I buy the bar another round of crown, and everybody's getting down in this town. Never gonna be the same. So I saddle up my horse and I'll ride into the city. Make a lot of noise, those girls are all so pretty. Lighting up and down the hallway on my own, stunned Leroy and the girls say, Save a horse, ride a cowboy. Everybody say, Save a horse, ride a cowboy. That's blues to me. Mm. Okay, so it's like when I'm doing that, it's like. Which is blues. So, anyhow, going back to how all this kind of happens in my head. It's kind of a jazzy blues, right? I hear the tread of coming, <laughs> rolling around the bend. I haven't seen the sunshine. Don't know where well I'm stuck in close to prison the Time keeps dragging on Well that train keeps rolling down the sand and tone So anyway that's that's blues in my head, right? Mm -hmm. So I don't know why I got off on this tangent. That was good. This is a kind of a blues scene. It is? Yeah, yeah so a lot of the songs, a lot of the songs, 
Okay, here's a here's a <laughs> prize question. <laughs> no one's gonna get this. Okay, but I'll give you a sample of it. All right. Only because I've got my new heavy low string. Light, light strings, let me do that whole little riff. I went to prom pills on a Friday night. Not a lot of people been looking real shy. Well, my way out of the bar like some thirsty pump. When she saw me cold and said to saddle up, no, saddle up. song I ever recorded was called Oh, oh man oh, oh. what is wrong with the back row come on in and help us yeah, through like out. This. yeah oh yeah uh, man I tell you what that was that was strong <laughs> that was worthy yes she knows my stuff ah, she's clearly uh -huh. a follower you know what I mean she's like you're that one stalking me on social media yeah. Yeah. I did I did you only have one follower anyway. So I have like seven now. Ooh. Boom! It's like almost a, it's almost a room. It's almost a room. Almost a room. I'm Ken. Ken, I'm Kathy. Kathy, pleasure to meet you. I'm Barbie. Just kidding. Ah. <laughs> Never heard that before. Okay, no, I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. There's another long story to that. I should not share on social media. Okay. This is a safe space, buddy. Is it? Yeah. This is a safe this is, space. Look at yeah. the story. This is Lincoln, Nebraska. You can get away with stuff. <laughs> well, <laughs> hmm, do, I even, uh, yeah. do I even put this out there? <laughs> I really shouldn't. We only have eight followers. But... Okay, cool. Yeah. So, <laughs> the very, very first girl I ever kissed in my life was named Barb. Okay. Wow. Yeah, I was in kindergarten, really fast. and a buddy of mine bet me a million dollars if I went and kissed Barb. Oh my gosh, a million dollars. I went over and did it, and then I came over for my million dollars. <laughs> and he's like, "No," and I'm like, ah, <laughs> "Still won. Still won. Still winning." Yeah, that was. Uh, anyway. Who's laughing now? Yeah, who's laughing now? It was embarrassing. All right. <laughs> Where's Barb? At? <laughs> I have no idea, and I, I apologize. If she, if she can connect the dots, I'm sorry. Because I'm this goof doing, like, you know, music here, having fun. Yeah. All right, and my, and my guitar, that you know, I put new strings on it because I thought I'd play one song and give it a chance to catch up. I have a good uh, question for everybody here. This is almost guessable. You're hitting your limit. I, I dominated the baby shards. <laughs> okay, so we have a music video out for If I Was a Bear. Have you seen it? Oh, it's on repeat all the time. Awesome. I'll watch it every night. <laughs> this is going to be a real tricky way to call you out now. All right, so um, any idea of who the gorgeous co star is in my video? Mm. It's not me. But it's not you. No. Nailed it again. Yeah. <laughs> you guys don't get how this game goes. Uh, and I'll give you another one. So the first song that we put out to radio is called Country Fight. Which actually we'll probably play that. It's kind of fun, but uh, I'll do that in a minute. Uh, and there was a person in it, and it was kind of neat. My kids actually did the video work. And so most of it's shot from down low, which was neat. There was some professional work from uh, Nashville also. And then we did a song called Ding Dang Darn It. And then that one, there's the same gal. And she's in it. Your wife. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nailed it! What? What, yeah. Mary? What? Yeah. <laughs> as, I, as, I, as I've been quoted, I'm super married. Yeah, super, super married. married. Yes, yeah, not just married, super, super married. married. Barb's oh, disappointed, not this Barb, but the Barb from kindergarten. <laughs> She's like, seriously? Super, super married. married. Yeah, if I was a beer. Uh, so yeah, she was in that, so if I was a beer, that was complicated. So you go to make a music video, you weren't here for the song, but it basically starts off, I'm just sitting at this bar stool. You know, drinking as reality starts to sink in. You're so pretty, you're out of my league. And I'm going, okay. And she kept going, hire somebody to be at the bar. I'm going, oh, that doesn't end well. You yeah. know, ooh, I'm going to oogle at somebody at the bar. Nailed it smartly. Yeah. And then, so I, I talked her into it. And then I was like, oh, snap. The second verse was, um, now I see you dancing with him. It's like, oh, who? Oh, great. Now I got to be the dork that hires a guy to. <laughs> Dance with my All wife right. on video for the rest of my life to see. <laughs> so what did I do? Anybody? 
This is this is only a, got your brother. You got a beard. I got my brother. Know. That's a good idea. Oh, Still kind of creepy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but see, kind of. Oh, I would hope I don't have a brother, but no, I don't have a brother. So who else could I have do that? Your son. Your son. That would be really disturbing. Um, your son. No, not yourself. My son. Yourself. Boy, you need to leave the room. Oh, you have one. Oh, oh. 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 It's like, we it's like, baby we all assume you rehearsed. Oh. You guys rehearsed. No, really, I so went three games in baby shower. You guys rehearsed. This is cheating. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's going to walk around with yeah. her, like, sunglasses. No one talks. If I was a beer. <laughs> yeah, if I was a beer. <laughs> That's right. Who's that from? We still don't know. Yeah. 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 Ken Dimash. Wow. All right. So anyway. Um, Who's that from? 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 Who's that Sorry, this is going way off the rails. No, yes. This is what we want. It's what we want. <laughs> Corey said when Barb gets here, clean it up. <laughs> so I'm gonna sing like a Barb's not here yet. Wait, that's Kathy. I'm Kathy. Oh snap! That's right. You said you were Barb and mess with me. It's a mess with you. She's in my body. So for the rest of this you're on Facebook fire. Live, you're you're, you're Barb. Barb. That's, a, that's her oh. alter ego. That's what, what was your name again? Kathy? Kathy. Okay, sorry. Okay. I have a brother named Ken. That makes it easy you for you. Okay. <laughs> That's all I care about. Make it easy. What's that? Oh, your, your new office name? Okay. Right. It's going to be all over. Where was I going? I have no idea. Okay. Video. So, video, video, bar, video. So we, uh, oh, by the way, we did. We have another video coming out uh, in September when we release the next uh, song for radio, which was that, you know. That was that drink about that that I jumped in with. And in that one, uh, she's in that whole video and it's great. And she pretends to be mad at me really well. And then in the end, we're just all at the bar having a great time. So it's really fun to get that one out. <clears throat> this one's out on social media. We just did a really neat uh, lyric video on it. Uh, but this is a more serious song, if there is one. Okay, so. Gotta bring the mood down serious. <laughs> Why? Why? Yeah. Just another year. We'll be happy. I keep hearing these words from Jigger and Dean. We can make our way back down Big Street. Bit found out right where we're supposed to be. Where we're supposed to be. Life's happening now. Have to try and figure it out. Just a little more time and maybe we'll find out what it's all about Life's heaven now So take a good look around Maybe we'll see that it's something that we've already found Life's heaven now I used to think that things were so darn easy Everything just seemed to come to me I used to say that things were so darn easy. Now I'm so found out who I want to be. Who I want to be. Life's heaven now. As I'm trying to figure it out. Just a little more time and maybe we'll find out what it's all about. Life's heaven now. So take a good Trying to fix this 
it took a minute to get into that serious mood. We were having a lot of fun there. Yeah. Wow, too much. <laughs> Back it down, bring it down, as Ross would be. So, can I try one I haven't tried in a minute? For sure. Are we okay on time? Yeah. yeah. No, we ain't doing nothing. All right, it's fine. <laughs> we, we don't work around here, so. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. I love it. So. It's July. Right around winter time. But it wasn't, it wasn't around winter time. What did my head think it's? It's not that. Yeah, that's way off. What would be better? Uh, summer. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, what happens in winter time? These strings drive me crazy. Mm. One of these guys is there. It is. There he is. I'm not going to do a song in B with B out, sorry. Much better. Mm. Yeah. It was 1995. Right around Christmas time I'm at a party and your eyes caught mine That winter night was cold but we didn't care We was laid in the snow and watched on bread for beer We met snow angels Like it was on very first time It's no angels that side by side. Little further down the road, got a house by picket fence. Hound dog, get a couple of kids. How we watch them play and we watch them sled. And at the end of the day, when they were finished, we make snow angels like it was on very first time. We make snow angels like side by side. Let's see, what do we want to talk about? Let's do another quiz game here. Oh, oh man. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got it. You got to stop. Awesome. Let's see. Uh, I tell you, it'll be fun. All right. This will be an easy one. All right. There we go. So, we just finished recording a video for a song called Imagining. That'll be released to radio in a minute. It'll be like next year's summer song. Who can guess who's in the video? Mm. Your wife. Your wife. <laughs> oh, oh, that was a tie. Oh. That was kind of a tie. Let's see. She was here a minute longer than me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a choice. You guys want sunglasses or a hat? Mm. Hat. Oh, that was easy. Bam, bam. All right. I'm a fan of hats. Yeah, these are cool hats, too. Yeah, cool thank hats. you. Yes. All right. Those are awesome. Oh. Let's go in that. I want to come here like tomorrow afternoon and have everybody run around their hands yeah. Yeah. and sunglasses on. And the rest will be chill. We should take pictures and chill. <laughs> Perfect. So this song's called Imagining. It's cool. I'll just jump into a song. Um, and I, I love this song uh, because it just feels like a fun summer, you know, relaxing hangout song. And doing the video is really neat because doing the videos, what I love about it is it gives another dimension to the song that nobody would ever put to the song. Go, oh, that's, I really did not see that coming. So in the video, in the very end of the song, you know, we had a young, like 17 year old me and a 17 year old of my wife. And they are at the, at the lake and you know, he's so fond of her, but she just, it's like me as a 17 year old total dork, you know, it's like, uh, yeah. <laughs> Where's my million dollars? <laughs> uh, that didn't happen. Um, and uh, oh yeah, and at the very end, they're they're leaving the uh, the dock, and it becomes my wife and myself. Mm -hmm. So you go, oh, the whole song was about him thinking back to his wife. 
it. So with that being said, you can't hear it for a minute, though it's not out on anything, but it'll be out in March. She had a long leg dangled from the edge of the dock. We were nearly 17. The lives were shining brighter than the water that was glistening. And when she'd laugh, when she'd smile, all I could do was grin. Even though it didn't look like I was doing much, I was imagining me just hurt me. Holding hands and tipping on me. Hurt me just hurt me. So ten lines and them cut off jeans. Good feel. We wanted to put it out this year, but it's already summer. <laughs> what do you do? Yeah. You know, wait wait. Too We're in the summer. Gotta wait. Gotta wait. Gotta wait. So, how are you guys doing on time? Good. Okay. Cool. All right. Good. Yeah. Cause I only have. What are you drinking there? What's that? Coffee. Uh -huh. Jameson. Uh -huh. Kidding. Uh -huh. Kidding. Uh -huh. Or am I? So. Or did that happen? Is that the wrong one? That's a Could different be. froggy, isn't that it's crazy? Just I was also eyeing that. I was yeah. like, oh, have yeah. you been here before? I think there's some copyright infringements going on there. Right. Do, we, do, do, we, do we have one to provide? Yeah. We can give them a magnet. Do you want a magnet? I would. A froggy magnet? Yeah. Shoot. Oh, I guess I'll do it. Yeah, what do I have to win? <laughs> what, uh, let's see, what's the, what, where are we on the station dial? Yeah. Mm. Do you know? Ninety-eight point one. Oh. oh. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Is it Tape magnetic? it over that frog. Then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is it magnetic? I think so. Not it's magnetic. Is it? No. You got it. I'm gonna magnetic. get some glue. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Super glue. Best really? Oh, oh yeah. It's huh. Identical. That's pretty close. 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 The tongue's different. Yeah. Oh, there's yeah. no nose. You got. Yeah. Yours can hold its breath. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, thank you. All right, so where were we on this? Uh, you're rocking out some bluesy stuff. Oh. Drop D tuning. You do play guitar. I, I own a guitar. That's my love musicianship. I never used a keyboard. Isn't that a cool sound? That is a good one, yeah. I can tell you about this one now. So, and again, I don't know how much you're putting out there. Some of this needs to go nowhere. Um, Get it out, man. Get it out. So it's therapy. We went. Okay, good deal. So my wife and I went to uh, Vegas, and uh, <laughs> man, we 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 won. Okay, and we don't gamble, but we won. Oh. We were there for like four or five days and just sustained the most awesome time. Like going, going. At one point, I'm in the the lobby of the hotel, 
and it's like three in the morning. It's like, I can't keep going. I can't keep going. There's somebody doing massages. I'm like, that's my ticket. So I'm getting a, I'm getting a massage in one hand, a shot in the other. And we're going. And as I'm like, I look up and they're selling tickets to Britney Spears. Who doesn't do that? Yeah. <laughs> So we go. We get front row. Oh my God. They were giving it away because it started in like a half hour. Oh I sit God. next to. Shut up. Uh, no, I'm not kidding. And I sit next to <laughs> what, a couple of the singers from. Uh, it's like the one of the boy bands from a minute ago. One Direction. Ninety eight degrees. Oh I think One Direction. Backstreet Boys. Backstreet, Backstreet Boys. Backstreet Boys. Backstreet Boys. Uh, <laughs> and, they're, and they're and so we're front row. Oh, she's doing this. We are. We are just having <laughs> the time. Oh my just God. the greatest time. And we're so like. Days of this go by nonstop. So we're leaving. People, random people, are just like pulling us aside saying, Hey, we want to party with you. I'm going, We're getting on a plane. We're leaving. It's like, We're, we're not Don't done, we but we're done it. now. It's like, We cannot go another day with that. So we felt like we knew how to do Vegas. Like, we we're kind of pros, man. So we go back like two years later, and I'm like, This time, oh, oh, oh we're going to leave the mark, right? It was great. We go to breakfast, and I had like pockets full of, full of fireballs. So I'm like, you know, they, they put them down like Pez dispensers, going, gotta get ready, gotta get ready. I talked to the concierge, I'm like, we're the best place to go party at 9 a.m. on a yeah, exactly. day. There's not a lot, okay? There's a lot of people walking home at 9 a.m. Yeah. Yeah. while we're having breakfast. So, anyhow, we go to some rooftop pool, and we get this cabana, and I'm like, yeah, we're getting a cabana. So we get the cabana, and I'm like, we're like, what would you like to drink? I'm like, double whatever you're doing twice. <laughs> <laughs> and they did. It was like seven and seven or something. And they doubled it, and they brought two. Took care of that as a, as a fireball chaser. Oh. And then the next thing I remember is my wife is putting ice on me because it's 117 degrees out. And I remember when we got walking by, I go, you okay? I'm like, yeah, just can't move. I'm good. I just can't get up. This goes on for like five or six hours. Oh, and they're covering with towels to block the sun because I couldn't move. I'm just like, it worked. You know? Yeah. Oh my so gosh. about five o'clock, I'm like, all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, wait a minute. It's like, yeah! And I jump up and I jump in the pool. I'm like, let's go! And I was like, oh, this isn't going to end well. And there was a big blow up shark, so I'm riding the shark. You know, like, I'm, like I'm like, you know, going on a rodeo ride. And she's like, we need to leave now. You know, because now I'm starting to scare the children and everybody. So we're walking back. I'm like, I probably should get a sandwich because I've been laying in the sun, you know, unconscious for you know, hours. So I get a sandwich at CVS. We get back to the room. I think I woke up three days later. Oh. Legit. It was just like, boom, that Vegas, not so well done. Oh, yeah. and, uh, I overdid it. because you didn't pace yourself. <laughs> Thanks for all the lessons I already know. <laughs> I get it. I was just I, like, oh, your poor wife. I was yeah. like, well, she was, <laughs> she was actually pretty happy. She's like, I got to watch TV. Oh, yeah. oh, you know, it's like, no oh, good. He's, he's like silenced. He's completely out. Yeah. And, uh, and actually, there's a longer story that my kids could tell. <laughs> that happened last weekend, which was a repeat. Oh, which how old are your kids? When this happened? Or how old are they now? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> They're all grown up. Oh. My daughter's getting married. My son just oh. graduated. My other one's in school. And we went to Florida. And I had that same feeling like I've been doing all this radio touring and all this. Like, let's have a great family vacation. Mm -hmm. Not the best example of how to be a dad. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I just put the face down in the sand the first day. I thought it was hysterical. Dude, dad's You're out of practice. Excited. I was. I know. Yeah. I get really excited. So I got to settle down and try to remember the words to the song. It's like, you know. It's a, it's, so with all that in mind. Okay. And, and the one time we went, we were like, hey, we've been married a minute. Let's have a new you know renewing of vows Vegas. in Vegas let's have Elvis marry us you know oh let's film it let's just let's just do this we never did we're like well we're here we're married yeah <laughs> you don't really need to pack a dress I don't need to bring a tux we're really not gonna call the little chapel and do all this so let's not so we didn't but in my head we did so. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> It's really hard to do these after I'm talking to you having fun. I have no idea where this is going to go. Double to the bathroom, I wet my hair. What's this diamond doing by the mirror? 
this point I'm starting to get scared. Don't remember these pink glittered underwear. <laughs> I'm seeing flashbacks back to the things we did. Spin spinning on around up in my head. Remembering fragments of words that we said. I don't even think I'm in my own bed now. I just wanna come like this. I don't even know where this is. I think it started with a good night kiss. Now it's that two of you. Might be a hint. I woke up like this. Pick up the phone, I dial the front desk. Good morning, sir, and welcome to Vegas. <laughs> Run to the window, I pull the shades. At this point, I'm not even sure of the day. Ring, ring, there's a ring on my finger. Oh, I don't remember that particular part of the evening. No. Tap, tap, there's a tap at the door now. Champagne ball, the newlyweds on the floor now. I just woke up like this. I don't even know where this is. I think it started with Be sure the same name. Go okay, I got one. I'll help you. Okay. <laughs> first name. Yeah. How do you spell oh, that's a good one. <laughs> What's my first name? <laughs> you know what? There is no way you'd ever in a gazillion years guess my middle name. Uh, What's your middle name? Never. Richard. That's it. Oh my god. Aww. That's not mine. <laughs> no. Ardell. Now Niles. Niles. Oh, Kenneth Niles Demar. Wow, that's Sounds such a good name. The... It's like I should do yeah. something really important. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, mom, dad. <laughs> uh, so here, here's me. so. What do you think my mom and my dad call me? Uh, Kenny. Kenneth. Kenny. Dude. Niles. This was set for you. Niles. Kenny. 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 <laughs> <laughs> that's just too easy. <laughs> That's what How about since we have the same name, then uh, what would you like? You want sunglasses? <laughs> Koozie? They're not letting you leave her alone. Sunglasses. Sunglasses. Because right? nice. okay. sunglasses make it. incognito. Yeah. Bam. When you're in Vegas? That's right. Awesome. Bam. There you go. Let's see. So you haven't won anything, right? I haven't, no. Okay. Well, yeah, you, yeah. yeah there's always it. one person that doesn't leave here happy. Yeah, so not, yeah. not, everybody, yeah. not everybody, um, <laughs> everybody wins. Kenny, right? Not everybody wins. <laughs> totally kidding. Let's see. I gotta come up with a good. Uh, uh, good one. Yeah, I I 
his love drop piece stuff. Hi. Hi. You want to come on in? Come on, George. Oh, gotta win a prize now. Gotta win a prize. Oh, she's sitting in the front row. There you go. Row. Oh, oh, snap. I'm too scared to sit in the front row. Yeah. Oh. First time, I gotta remember her name. Uh, Jennifer. Oh, that's my mom's name. I was oh, assuming smooth. that we were talking about your mom. Yeah. <laughs> you are uh, Janet. Close. Oh, Janice. No. No. Let's stop this game. <laughs> Let's go with an easier one. Who am I? Can't <laughs> answer. How did you nail that? Are you listening? <laughs> ah! <laughs> but you said Kenneth, didn't you? I said Kenny. Kenny. Said, said I like it better. Because it's talking about your parents. That's right. Mm -hmm. So, little, yeah. what was your name, though? Jordan. That was nowhere near my guess. <laughs> well, it's your J. 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 You had to start with a J. That's close enough. I got one letter. Nailed it. Nailed it. it. Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> no, true story. So, um, I started, I, said, well, I, I guess I've always been called Kenny. And my mom and dad would always call me Kenny. My wife calls me Kenny. My sisters call me Kenny. And that's about it. Right. It's always been Ken. So, I don't know, like, 10 years ago, I started just saying, you know, maybe not even that long. I started to introduce myself to people as Kenny. So they start, even my closest friends now are like texting me to Kenny. Because I'm like, it just makes me smile. You know, it's like my mom or dad or my wife just talking to me. And it's like, oh, what? You know? So, so then I was going to go by Kenny, but they're like, you've already got albums out under Kenny. I'm like, oh, that stinks. So for here. It's a rebrand. I know. Yeah, that's like an extra... Yeah, and here's another little story that we shouldn't put out there anywhere. We're going to have to edit everything out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. And nothing's being edited. It's just not fun. For real? I don't know. Let's hope. I don't yeah. Know. Oh, yeah. yeah. They'll do speed He's ramping. Like, They'll do speed ramping over the bad parts. So it's like, yeah. I don't think I'll do that. Kidding. So at, at home, most of my friends and everybody called me Kenny D. <laughs> so I was going to say, hey, let's go with Kenny D. You know, like Kenny G. No, Kenny D. Yeah, but with way. a D. Yeah, uh, and, totally different. Yeah, totally different. <laughs> Duh. <Yeah. laughs> so I started taking the trumpet lessons and the saxophone lessons. <laughs> started getting uh, let my hair out into perm. And, and you got your nose all different. Is that how that worked too? Yeah. And then uh, the marketing people were like, "Let's not. Let's just go with that." <laughs> so yeah. So that's what we do. Jordan? Yes. Okay, so. <laughs> what, uh, what have we covered Jordan here? Jordan D. Is it D? Mm-hmm, Jordan D. JD? Yeah. Oh, oh. Hmm? She's Jojo Bean. Jojo, Jojo Bean. Bean. It's too early in our introduction to go. Yeah, you can. Know. That's kind of, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Don't you think, Barb? Yeah. That's like, <laughs> wee, wee. Yeah. yeah. Too far down the path. See what to do next. <laughs> Since we're in drop D, and you know, you know why I love drop D? We'll go off on another tangent. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Tim, right. you better say it louder. I'm not going to say that louder. Can I say it then? You can say louder it. Louder in the back, please. It rhymes with Kenny D. <laughs> oh, somebody walked in. I was looking for somebody. <laughs> hey, somebody signed up. Yeah, you gotta watch out. Hi, how you doing? I'm doing fun. How you doing? I'm great. I'm Ken. I'm Tim. Tim, pleasure to know you. Nice to know you too. I'm hiding behind you. Where are you from? Uh, St. Louis. St. Croix. Hmm? St. Croix. U.S. Virgin Islands, where I'm from. St. Croix? Yeah. Wow, Random. that's cool. Yeah. Totally wow. blew you out of the water. I thought you were correcting me. Nope, you're from St. Croix. <laughs> Go forward, it's Kenny G from St. Croix. I was just trying to come back. You had a saint in your town, I have a saint in mine. Uh, we do. Yeah. We do have one you saint. You are a saint. Saint Leo. Saint Leo. Was that near Bonnie? Or... Yeah, I love that. Yes. Where does that go? I don't know where that goes. Yeah. But I love all that drop D stuff when it's played correctly. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, when it's correctly, keyword. Yeah. Hey. But I just, that, so that influenced a whole lot of stuff. Like some of the first songs I was learning was, you know, uh, what else could I be? And it's just simple play. All apologies. What else could I write? So it's just like, you know, in the sun, great song to learn from. The sun, always one.
So I love all that stuff. Just that, you know, because it's like, how easy is that? Right? Yeah. Yeah. You, know, like, you, you, you can play it. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Very cool. We're going to do an extra long bridge because the Jameson was at the bottom. <laughs> so. Well, hop in your truck and put it in drive. Pick up a few friends you've known all your life. Follow the dust and the flash and tell lies to the glow in the sky that last all night. Take yourself close to the stage. You'll feel the beat pulsing through your veins. Then hold your head back and close your eyes. The steel guitar fills the sky. Welcome to my rodeo. It's a rock and roll fancy. Welcome to my rodeo. Come on, come on, take a ride with me. We got four horns on the limousine. You might get a little dust and mud on your jeans. Yeah, at yeah, my rodeo. Never yeah, got no rules to keep you down. Just hold your glass tight as you're bumping around. Pour some trouble mixed with the good times. Chase it down with a heavy bass line. The bass is getting louder. The devil's begging for some water. As the stage starts shooting from the center ring, one of the balls lines up the sixth string. Welcome to my rodeo. It's a rock and roll fancy. Sorry, I'm still coming back from doing that because I, I was having fun there and kind of got carried still away. Coming still coming back from Vegas. Still coming back from Vegas. Who isn't? Always am. Still drying out. So, <laughs> Tim Croy. Where's it with Saint Croy? Saint Croy. Tim. I just assumed you had been there, so I don't know. I don't know. Not really. You need to go on vacation. Come on. Florida. Virgin Florida. Islands. Nice. We've talked about it. Like I can tell you some places to go. I grew, I grew up there, so. Really? Yeah. Can you tell about my tan? Uh, he has to go with you, though. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> That's awkward. Honey, this is Tim. <laughs> He's our tour guy. Uh, kind of guy. That's a little creepy. <laughs> All right. Uh, so let's see. Um, that was that song. Uh, I'm trying to think of a quiz question for you all here. Uh, there's nothing for Welcome to My Rodeo. Other than... What's the significance of that song? Welcome to my rodeo. Any idea? It's performed by you're Tim getting Bush. an idea there. You're thinking it through. It's right there on the guitar. So what would that be? It's in rock key too. It's that's true. Okay. That's true. Okay, well, we'll give you a koozie. Well, that is my, yeah, I'm trying to win it for the other. For the candy. <laughs> no. Yeah, oh, I got candy. You got candy. Right, yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, it's the it's the uh, the name of the album. Welcome to my rodeo. And it's kind of a metaphoric idea of you know instead of being a real rodeo, it's a stage and blah 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 blah. That was a really hard one. Okay. Let's see. What's this? Oh, any idea 
what song we have uh, out to radio right now. Oh. This is like awful. I, I, mean. Yeah. I mean, actually, it's embarrassing to me. Um, but. <laughs> no, no. Fires of Beer? No. Well, yeah. Well, you, did you already win? You already won. If I was a beer, let me come up with an easier one. Yeah, the song's called If I Was a Beer. Um, let's see. I'm only jumping into this because it's so funny that so many of the songs are about drinking and having a good time. Yeah. Yeah. You have something, just go with it. Well, I was barely to the bar with nothing to do when I set my bottle down and bumped into the yeah, the next thing you know, I was sitting front row to this crazy all night hip flinging rodeo wall. St. Louis and Chuck Berry had a place at Blueberry Hill. They had a basement no. for like performers all the time. I thought that was my quiz really? to you. <laughs> <laughs> Blueberry Hill. I got a candy bar. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's not how the game goes, man. We don't want to quiz the artist because then I look really dense and that. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So that's real difficult to do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> She's cool. Wow. wow. This is that wow. tough one. Wow. Dang, God. Lincoln, Nebraska. Home of the mean people. <laughs> wow. Nebraska Nice. Nebraska Nice is one of our models. Is it really? Yeah. Not anymore. He's not from here. He's not. You're not from around yeah, these parts, are you, son? He's not from St. Croix. He lived on the West Coast. Hey, 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 you're taking my time. He's making a place now. Oh, I'm supposed to do something there, my bad. So, take a break for a second. Let's see, uh, any, any, <laughs> any questions you have for me or anything like that before I just keep... Do your kids uh, perform? Great question. 
Uh, my daughter, I took my daughter to piano lessons um, when she was like seven or eight. That's how I got interested in music. Because wow. I didn't want to sit there in the waiting room with the other parents looking at, you know, People magazine and stop reading about somebody at a concert from, from Britney Spears front row doing, you know. And, and I'm like, okay, I'll take lessons. And um, I took a voice lesson and it was so funny. Like, fourth lesson, the guy's like, okay, let's sing something. I'm like, whoa, dude. <laughs> we were crushing the, you know, me, 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 me. He's like, let's sing a song. I'm like, uh, so I sing a song and he looks at me and he's like, are you just being a jerk? I was like, what? He goes, go join a band or something. So that was my vocal training. And it's like, not the best advice in the world. So then I kind of got involved. But she stuck with the piano for like eight years. And she got really good. You know, so she did all of the, uh, the sight reading, which is, you know, right. nothing says I love you, Dad, more than sitting through piano lessons and learning all of that stuff. So thanks, honey. But, uh, you know, she's still really, you know, really good at piano. I think it's really neat to learn. Uh, my, my son, I took him to to uh, drums, you want to do drums. Way to really kill a dream on drums <laughs> is to buy electronic drums. Oh, yeah. Still in the attic, nobody uses electronic drums. You know, because it's like, why does a, he's like, you know, caveman, you know, no, no, I make lots of noise, you know? And and then I got him a little tappy, 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 never, you know, so he's not really interested in music. The third uh, boy came along and I was like, well, we're gonna take you to piano lesson. It was crazy. There was a fella from Nashville that had been was in St. Louis for just a short stint. And he's like, "Well, I'll I'll teach him. I'm not going to teach him how to read music." I'm like, oh. "Okay, that's <laughs> yay." And it was crazy. Within like I don't know three months, he was playing full songs by ear. And I'm like, "What is going on?" Yeah. Meanwhile, I had a guy teaching me guitar, and he was like mad at me every night. Because I couldn't, you know, it's like, I was like, he's like, no, 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 no. different inflection. I'm like, sounded good to me. Uh, which, side story, by the way, is how I write music, because I can't play it the way it's supposed to be. Like the, uh, I was in Nashville at a songwriter round, and I was like on this chair. And I don't know, have you ever been to those? really neat you should if you go to Nashville you should take a minute and go to a song uh, writer night so they that's just like this which is very reminiscent of it only it's just me yeah. um, <laughs> which is it's all sitting around yeah that's what I'm doing I'm doing this one over here so uh, so I'm sitting here the, the, this young lady goes she was amazing and I'm like would I like walk off the stage real quick like would anybody even know you know Probably. So I wait, and then this other guy goes, and I mean, you could smell whiskey. All I mean, it was like, oh, this is gonna be great. Oh snap! This guy was like, unbelievable. <laughs> it was just like, oh, thanks a lot for making what was gonna be bad worse, you know. <laughs> and so he's doing his thing, and I'm watching him. He's doing some something. Didn't sound anything like it. So I did mine. I got through mine, you know, totally like humbled. And I get back to the hotel and I'm like, what did that guy do? You know, and one more oh, thing, sure. by the way, I walk into this bar and I'm like, what's going on here today? And the guy with the whiskey, he's like, it's right or not? I'm like, like a motorcycle rider? He's like, mm -hmm. dude, songwriter not. It's like, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> How do I do it? He goes, you got to talk to that lady over there, man. I'm like, okay. I mean, he was just like, idiot. I go over to her, I'm like, how do I do this? She goes, you gotta do this like months in advance. I'm like, oh, but somebody just called and they can't make it right now. I'm like, I ran across the street, I grabbed my guitar and I sat down and then I was like, oh snap. Anyhow, this guy was like, you know, I couldn't play it. And I vividly remember in the hotel room kind of going, like, that sounds cool. I was like, that sounds cool. I was like, I was listening to Aristotle. I just started making up words. Bam, and it was like, that was a whole song. You know, Moonbeam, just bam. Yeah. So anyway, with all that being said, I don't follow the how they actually do all of that stuff. And this guy was trying to teach me how to play yeah. um, songs the right way. I can't even think of the song I was doing, but I, I almost knew. <laughs> but I couldn't do it. Meanwhile, my son's in the next room crushing it yeah. with this other guy. So that long answer, I forgot who asked if my kids do music. Barb, Barb thank Barb. you. 
Anyway, my son is, uh, my youngest son is just so good at piano. It's hurtful. So right now we're talking about him. He's only been playing like four years, maybe. Um, and I knew he was extremely good at it when we went to go see Bohemian Rhapsody. You know, the dun, dun, sure. dun, dun, dun. He saw it. You get home within 15 minutes. He played Bohemian Rhapsody like he should be a YouTuber. It was like, okay, what is going on? And what he does now is he takes all of my songs and turns them into like this Mozart composition that's hip and cool. And he's just like throwing in nines and stuff. And he's trying to teach me how to do them. And it's like, this is really not cool. I mean, let's just not, you know. Um, so, anyway. Yeah, so he's extremely good at that. He's, he's uh, extraordinary at piano. Um, what other questions? So did you write the songs, most of the songs that you played right now, tonight, today first? Actually, every single song I've written. Oh. Yeah, I've only co-written a few. There's a couple out there that have my name on it, which is really wonderful. Thank you um, for the, like, talking to the camera. If they, you know, they know. Because um, I'll get texts saying, hey, you know that song you wrote all the chorus for? Put your name on it. And I was like, oh, nice. You know, it's like a interesting thing in songwriting does anybody know anything about how the songwriting process teach goes? us what really we, yeah this is great i was i would think i would be the the one in the room that's completely out of the circle because of who you get to meet every day um like legit of course, of course. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not so now, now it's making sense i was thinking more like you know like morgan wallen you know, people yeah, walking yeah. in and, he you just know. left did he really? Yeah. 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 Yes. So he was yeah. sitting on this chair. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, that was creepy too. All right. So, <laughs> so uh, the songwriting, they usually, they really encourage uh, collaboration so that you can work through uh, you know, verse. Somebody might have a really good idea for a hook or a chorus, and they do songwriter groups and rounds and um so in Nashville, there's a group called Nashville Songwriters Association, and I joined that when, like, I had a, the release out for Country Fight and Ding Dang Darn It, and it's like this, to get on the road is like there's a lot of you got a lot of time commitment, so you're on the road. So I couldn't do it, so I was like, all right, well I don't want to just not do it, so I started trying songwriting, and it's really complicated the, the songwriting process um, when you work with other people and when you try to get critique complicated might not be the right word it's like almost it's discouraging it's mm -hmm. encouraging it's a bigger roller coaster ride than just doing your own music right. in some ways um you know like uh come on here curious like in songwriting responses it takes it just takes the soul out of you when they're like well you know it's the way you position this word or that word or and you're like you end up rewriting songs forever you know what I mean and half the time like uh, if I was a beer you know I, I put that in the, the first reaction was that's the dumbest thing I ever heard I was like, oh, exactly. I was like, if I was a beer, you wouldn't do that. You know, that's it's like, you know, you just deal with it. Beer doesn't taste that great when we get used to it. You know? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I know. So, I did it. I, I forgot I had such a bad reaction to it the first time. And like six months later, I'm like, hey, I have this song. If I was a beer, nailed it. I'm going to send this in and get a reaction. And they're like, greatest song ever. Uh, <laughs> So I was all confused. Um, yeah. Come on in. If I was a beer? Yeah. You know, yeah. I'll do it right now. Sweet. Sweet. It's our third time here. Who are you? Oh, oh it is now. Yeah, look at us. Oh, we'll take it. That's the body, our bodyguard. Huh? That's our bodyguard. Come with me. So you've heard the song? Yes. Doesn't sound anything like this. <laughs> ruin it. All right. I should figure out a different way to do it. That'd be fun. <laughs> oh, wait, you guys didn't get to hear it last time because somebody was out there walking and I did a whole different verse. Oh, yeah, you did change that. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Do you mind if I do it again? Do it again. Yeah, uh, yeah. Good. Is Max here? Yeah. 
Max. Maybe Max wants to come sit yeah, down. Yeah, maybe Max. Should we get him sitting down first? Hey, Max. Kenny. 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 Did we get you to win anything yet? No, but I left early, so you don't have to give me a prize. Ooh. Amy needs you downstairs. Somebody, She's getting married. Hey. She is getting married. This weekend. Sunglasses? I don't know how many hats I'll I have. I'll take them. Wait, oh, wait, hold on. You're too kind. I do have a hat. You want a hat more than I actually want a koozie more because I use those more often than hats. Oh, so. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> right. I'm glad I asked. She's honest. <laughs> yes, you know, that's something my dad told me. He's like, uh, always ask people what they want, don't assume. Oh, that's true. That's right. Okay, so, all right, new crowd. I like this. <laughs> oh, what's your name? James. James? Yep. I'm trying to think of a quiz question for him on if I'm here. <laughs> well, he knows the song. Right? Yeah, you win I already. I didn't hear about it. I looked it up. <laughs> to it. Who's in the other room? Oh. Have you seen the video? Yes. Ah. Oh. Did you watch Who's the whole thing? Who's in it? Oh, see, come on. <laughs> He's in it. It's easy. And Who's the other guy in it? Oh, wait, what? Wait, what? The other guy in the video <laughs> is me, but you don't know it. To the very end, because I've got a cowboy hat on, I'm acting all cool, I'm playing pool, being all tough guy, and then in the end, I'm dancing with the girl. Kind of close, having a good time, not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and then it's like, I look up like, yeah, it's me. I'm just sitting at this bar stool drinking As reality starts to sink in You're so pretty, you're out of my league You'd never see yourself with a guy like me If I was a beer, I bet you'd hold me Press your lips against me, tell me your story If I was a bear, that you'd pour your heart out to me I was a bear. Now I see you dancing with him. There's that verse. And I can't help but thinking that you and I could be so good together. Maybe I could be something you like better. If I was a bear, bitch, you hold me, press your lips against me, tell me your story. If I was a bear, but you pour your heart out to me. Bet your friends would even like me. Bet they'd even invite me to every single party. And throw one for me. Raise their glasses and cheer, cheer, cheer. Your glasses. everybody will say but I will say thank you if you haven't thank got you. anything yet I've got some good stuff for you and I appreciate you all yeah how about that that's good. good to end on that song yeah, yeah. you know yeah. started I love that song it. and I, I you know I hope everybody does and yeah, yeah. that was a beer yeah. oh. here another little fun story if it's still yeah. recording yeah I'm I made beer like I went to a brewery had you know, a formula and I was I'm like can I have that and blah 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 got approval had all of it labeled and it has funny things on it like uh Enjoy the album responsibly. Be sure to share with friends. Be careful. Too much consumption can lead to spinning. In the case of radio, spinning spinning's a really good thing. Mm -hmm. You know, like we appreciate everyone. So I have all these like quirky things on here as private label beer, and I was ready to go, you know, show up at radio stations with beer. How fun would this be? We're drinking yeah. beer, right? And a buddy of mine, he's like, Really? You're doing that? I'm like, Yeah. He goes, How did you get the, uh, um, what was it? Firearms, tobacco, and uh, alcohol. Yeah, what is it? What's that called? ATF. ATF. How'd you get ATF approval on the labeling? I'm like, 
didn't. <laughs> so, what? So I've got cases and cases of beer that look like this oh. <laughs> at home going, I don't know. And I call the, my attorney friends and I'm like, my attorney friends that charge me like 400 bucks an hour um, <clears throat> to be my friends. You know, they're like, well, we'll have to do a little research. I'm like, time out. No, really not necessary. I just thought it'd be cool to show up with beer at radio stations and it was alcohol free, it was NA beer, mm -hmm. like how harmless. And uh, do it in the alley. Perfect, <laughs> let's go. Yeah. I don't have it in the car now, but the last radio tour, it was like two weeks ago, I had cases in my car oh, and I left on a Friday hoping they'd tell me and they didn't tell me and they just, they just thought like, well, yeah, it takes a little bit of work, but anyhow. Um, That's cool. That, I thought that'd be fun. No, no. Yeah. But, Sorry to spoil that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> instead, I'm just drinking coffee. But I've got more chachis, and I appreciate you guys. And all. hard drugs. Probably got hard drugs. Right? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's still recording. Did you turn it off? I hope that got weird. Because we can do this. <laughs> uh, yeah. I bet you'd pour your heart out to me. Okay. Perfect. If I was buried.